So we're coming to case one. This is a dropped nucleus and you plan to remove the nucleus with fragmatome but your fragmatome is defect. What to do? But what is a fragmatome? A fragmatome, this is a phaco handpiece without sleeve and a longer needle. If a fragmatome is a phaco handpiece, why can we not use a phaco handpiece for dropped nucleus surgery? I searched the literature, there's one publication from a Spanish group which use FACO with vitrectomy machines um, but this was not used with a cataract machine so um, the author used a vitrectomy machine with a FACO handpiece. I thought it is time to do intervitreal FACO emulsification with a cataract machine and here comes the first patient operated with uh, intervitreal phaco emulsification with a cataract machine. So I inserted three 23 gauge troca cannulas and a chandelier light. I removed now the sleeve and I detached also the um, infusion. So we're working with a infinity cataract machine. No vitrectomy machine, this is an infinity cataract machine. In the right hand I'm holding the FACO handpiece, a completely normal FACO handpiece for infinity. In the left hand a um, <coughs> back flush needle to fixate the um, drop nucleus in the middle of the vitreous cavity. You must be careful to protect the retina and the choroid from the phragmatome. I'm working here with the sculpting mode. So low aspiration should be maximal 100 mm mercury or centimeter H2O for the infinity machine. Uh, I found it very safe and easy to perform. The power of this machine is actually higher because you have ozel function. Technical details. Settings for FACO is sculpting mode, max millimeter, 100 millimeter mercury or centimeter H2O for infinity. We do a perpendicular sclerotomy for 20 gauge, which means you go straight into the eye and not lamella or diagonal for trocha cannulas. So you go straight into the eye, perpendicular. No trocha cannula, because the friction between phaco tip and trocha cannula can create metal debris falling into the eye. So no trocha cannula. And then we work, we use a normal phaco handpiece but no infusion. Then we remove the sleeve. The infusion comes into the eye via the irrigation line. I asked Steve Charles in the event of consolation why we use a phragmatome and not a phaco handpiece. He said that both handpieces are identical but that the phragmatome has a longer needle which is important for myopic eyes. Is this correct? No, they're actually the same length. Phaco handpiece and the fragmenta handpiece. Uh, needle, check, excuse me. The needles have the same length. Let's come to case two. <coughs> this is a 70 year old patient in OPD with visual acuity decrease in the left eye. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the left eye. What is your uh, diagnosis? The right eye is normal. Only left eye is um, pathological, exudates, hemorrhage. 
Here is the angiography. You also see leakage. Well, it is um, a Coats disease. The Coats disease is usually unilateral and affects mostly uh, male people. And according to the staging of Coats, we have the stage 2A, both exudates in the macula. I treated this patient with um, laser and ilea, no bitrectomy. And one year follow up is 0 0.65 visual acuity. And this is the, <coughs> the, fa the fundus after one year. You see the laser effects. And also the bleeding resorbed. And the exudates are quite well resorbed too. Thank you very much.